What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we really didn't do anything. We just, uh, you know, got ourselves a starter Pokemon, got to visit two of the fine young ladies that we have in our storyline, and now it is time for us to go to Route 5. Yes, we are skipping everything that is right here in Lumioi Town, and, well... We're going to go on our adventure because, yes, there's a lot to be done. Now, if you talk to this guy in a pink suit, he's going to be like, Nice to meet you, friend. They call me Mr. Bonding. Have you ever heard of O Powers? That expression uh, that expression of yours tells me that you haven't. Don't worry, I'll tell you about it. O Powers are mysterious forces that have all kinds of useful effects. They can make your Pokemon uh, stronger or even help you get more money. Any friends you have nearby will benefit from them. They truly are mysterious powers. Let's get started, shall we? It's bonding time. And, well, we're going to be getting attack and defense. And... Well, let's see. Yes, attack and defense. Yes, this will increase our stats. I believe you use the, the little program, the PSS, right here, just to make sure we... We activate them and all that stuff. I don't know. Well, I've never really used them, but apparently you level up every single time now. I think if you talk to this person, if you lose your way in Lumioise, okay, never mind. How about this person? Sometimes a long way. Okay, never mind. So we're going to be going into the next route. And once we enter to Route 5, as you guys can see, there is a Lucario just walking by and being like, car. Wait, Lucario. And here we have an individual with another Lucario. And she's like, sorry about that. Are you okay? I was just doing some special training with my Lucario when all of a sudden he dashed off. Hey, Lucario, what's going on with you? Did you get drawn by this boy's aura or something? God. Hmm. Huh. Well, it seems Lucario likes you. You think so? See, Lucario can read people's auras. I guess something about your aura has made this one uh, take a liking to a stranger. Lucario is always getting worked up in battle with uh, the, my other one. Maybe it's just been waiting for a trainer to appear who's strong enough to challenge it. Oops, sorry. I was in such a role, I forgot to even introduce myself. I'm Karina, the Shallower City Gym Leader. If you're collecting gym badges, I'm sure we'll be battling soon or sooner or later. I'll be looking forward to it. I hope you know how to roll with the punches. You gotta love the, uh, gotta, gotta love the roller skates puns and all that stuff. And, well, that Lucario just, it knows. It just knows that I'm him. Anywho, I'll be right back with you guys getting a quick phone call right here. Okay, so we're back, guys. Uh, my bad. I just got some uh, very, very, very good news. Very good news. Shout out to my brother. <laughs> Anywho, let's go ahead and continue on right here. Uh, <coughs> and then I had to get a coffee or a cough drop as well, too. But as you guys can see, there is a skate park right here. And it's... Well, as, as, you, as you guys can already tell, it's specifically for this, and we we definitely need to get that item right before we finish off this episode right here. So, let's see, there might be an item right here too, or this is just me purposely going through the grass so I can capture some Pokemon, but we're going to be looking at some double battles right now. And, well, would you look at this. Taking on the Tween's Faith and... Faith and... Faith and... I can't remember the name right here. <laughs> Okay, no, guys, I am extremely happy right now. Uh, you just cannot believe how happy I am with the news that I've just I have just received. Um, obviously, it is private, but I'm just saying a shout out to my little brother because yes, this is this is uh, <laughs> this is news that we needed. So, anywho, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon because yeah, we got Plusu and Minum right here about to jump us and Bebe is probably the only Pokemon that can withstand this. And, well, we're getting quick attacked by these guys. So here comes the Psybeam attack and nearly defeats Plusle right there. Good gravy. Okay, go go right ahead. Paralyze my baby. Okay, let's see. We could go with the Flame Charge and get Plusle down. And, you know what? Vine Whip will actually work against Minum. So here comes another quick attack. That hits Star Fox yet again. And let's go straight for a fire or flame charge. That will increase our speed. And from there, Plusle has been defeated. Bebe, because, you know, it's right there looking pretty and all that stuff. Grows to level 9. And, well, 
Hurricane, not doing anything, grows to level 13, grows and learns Quick Attack, which is also great. Aaliyah, my baby Aaliyah, has uh, grown to level 14, and poor baby can't move. Alrighty. Let's go with the Fasai Beam right here onto Minum, and you know what? For the for shits and giggles, Vine Whip. There you go, Star Fox getting hit. And... There we go, Vine Whip. And that doesn't really do much to mine him, but it's still something. So here we go again, Psy Beam, and a Vine Whip attack. And well, Quick Attack is gonna hit us pretty hard right there. So here comes this Psy Beam. And just like that, Minum has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. And then we're, well, look at this baby growing to level 10, which is also great. It's fantastic. And it's learning Lucky Chant. And of course, Hurricane not doing anything, just, yeah, growing to another level right there. So positivity all around. Positivity all around. Okay. Alrighty. So what is next right here? There are there are some items that you guys can grab around this area. Just gotta look around and well, we're gonna get attacked by a bundlebee. Star Fox, not gonna take any of that stuff right there. There is one particular Pokemon that I do want to capture. And it does have like it has somewhat of a weird evolution. Uh well, it does have some kind of like weird evolutionary uh, trait and stuff, so let's see if we can actually find this Pokemon right here. And would you look at that? There it is. Pancham. Okay. So here we have Pancham. It is a dark and fighting type Pokemon. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but this Pokemon right here will evolve into a huge panda. And I want to capture it. Okay, so let's see. Let's go right ahead and switch out the Pokemon. And, well, Arm Thrust is going to come and hit us right here. Hurricane not taking anything. So, let's see. Let's go. I would love to use Gust, but I know that's going to mess us up right here. So, let's go straight for a quick or a quick attack. And, well, there we go. And that is, yeah. <laughs> that is not going to do much. So let's go right ahead and do another quick attack. Just try and chop it down. Let's see. There you go. And, well, it's going to continue just smacking us. Okay, stop smacking my bird. Sounded so dirty right there. Let's go ahead and uh, capture this Pokemon right here. Let's go with... Hmm. It's not a Pokemon that you need, you, you need happiness from. So let's go right ahead and throw a Great Ball at this Pokemon. Come on. Stay in the ball. Come on. Come on. And there you go. Throwing out the peace sign. Throwing out the great peace sign. Alrighty. And Star Fox grows to level 19. And, well, let's go right ahead and put this Pokemon into our Pokedex right here. As you guys can see, here is Panchan, the fighting type Pokemon. It does... It's level best to glare and pull a scary face, but it can't help grinning if anyone pats it on the hat. Oh, and I definitely have a good nickname for this Pokemon. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello. And this is uh, this is also dedicated to my niece because she, she, she loves Pixar. She loves Disney and all that stuff. Say hello to Poping from Kung Fu Panda. Yes, Jack Black or shout out to Jack Black. For doing such a great job on it. There you go. Poping. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Poping. And this guy right here has Mold Breaker, which moves can be used on the target regardless of its abilities. Now, there is one bad thing. It does have a modest nature, which affects its physical attack. This Pokemon is supposed to be a physical attacker. I guess special attack could actually work and all that crud. But we'll fix it. We shall fix it. As you guys can see, we uh, we got a nice team going. Don't worry. Uh, we will fix it up uh, later on. All these Pokemon that we have are not exactly going to be on the team until uh, to the very end. I am planning on a, a nice 
on a nice team right here. Now, funny thing about Pancham is that the way you evolve it, I believe it evolves at level 30 or 32, but you also have to have a dark type Pokemon on your team in order for it to evolve. That is just the weirdest thing to me. So, yeah. Okay, all right. Here we go. Take it on a Bunnelby. And, uh, well, we're just going to be switching it off right here. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and switch up our Pokemon to Poping. I want to try this Pokemon on just for the fun of it right here. Here are the two of the other Pokemon Rangers. My goodness, Pokemon hordes are certainly intense. <laughs> They're just like a dance team made up of Pokemon, aren't they? Oh, Tierno, do you ever think about any, anything besides dancing? Nope, even during Pokemon battles, I'm always checking out their moves. And then my feet are starting moving, too. I can't even help it, you know? Like Swords Dance, I love it. I guess that's why I can never win. Huh. Oh, hey, it's Sensei. Do your Pokemon know any sweet moves? Show me in a battle. Okay, so here it is, guys. We're going to be taking on Tierno. And... Well, let's see what Tierno... <laughs> Let's see what Tierno has, and well, of course, he's got himself a core fish right here. The Mold Breaker for Poping. All right, Poping. Do your work. Let's work it up. All righty, so this right here is like a KO can for this panda, and it's going to increase both its physical and special attack. And, well, Arm Thrust should help us out right here, but this, this core fish right here is just smashing us up right now. Holy bucket. So here we go. Yeah, I completely forgot about Corefish's uh, defense, too. It has, it has a shell, god dang it. Okay, let's switch it up. Not there. Let's go straight to Aaliyah. Let's have Aaliyah take care of this business right here. So, we're switching it out. And Aaliyah, you are in charge. And here comes a Vice Grip. This will be its... Oh, it didn't get paralyzed. Okay, let's go. Thundershock for the win. And, oh, almost defeats this Pokemon. So here comes another Vice Grip. This Pokemon will not stop. Okay, so here we go. Thundershock yet again. And there you go. Corefish has been defeated. My question is, where to capture a Corefish? Always wanted one. And, well, Bebe grows to level 11 without doing anything. Tierno, still looking at the dances. He's like, you got some nice footwork. Yes, I do. All righty. Who's next? Good to see you, Draven. Excuse me, I, I mean, Sensei. It really does seem that uh, as though Tierno can only think about dancing and moves. When a horde of Pokemon popped up, he just stood there watching them. Well, yeah, Trevs. Coming up in this world, uh, in the world's best Pokemon dance is my dream. All I, after all, I was born to dance. I won't ever stop, not with the moves like these. That's indeed a perfect dream for you, Tierno. I guess I should just show... Uh, just as much dedication to my dream of completing the Pokedex then. It's good for it's good to be serious about some things. Uh, um, Sensei, do you take honey? Won't you? Or won't you take this honey? Yeah, well, we'll, we'll take some honey. Well, you see, using honey will encourage Pokemon hordes to appear. Though, if you are going to challenge a, po a whole horde, you may want to use moves that can hit multiple targets, which is true, guys. Anywho, what I'm going to do right now is I am going to heal up my Pokemon. And then we're going to get back over here because we got some stuff to do. So I'll be right back with you guys. Well, I would say maybe a few hours later I am here. Uh, <laughs> okay, guys. So a bit of an explanation. Uh, yeah, it's been a few hours. Things picked up and uh, I had to leave the recording and all that stuff. So my bad, guys. But like I said, a very, very, very good... Uh, very good uh, news came to uh, to my phone, and I had to leave, so you guys would understand, right? So, anywho, let's continue on our adventure right here a few hours later in at night. Wow. Australia night. And, well, we're going to be taking on some bu bundle bees, and as you guys can see, Poping, he's ready to go. But I kind of have a feeling that Bundle Bee is just going to be a jerk and, yeah, beat Poping on. So, yeah, that's not going to happen right there. Let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Like, oh, wow. We, <laughs> wow. We went through a battle. Yeah. Okay. So I completely forgot about all of that. So let's go right ahead and uh, get some potions going. Potions right here. And I accidentally 
Yeah, okay. And one more potion for Star Fox. Let's get ready to destroy everybody. Okay. I haven't, see I haven't been able to sleep very well for days. I don't know if I'm up for a battle. Hmm. Yeah, all right. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. We're taking on Harmish. I don't even know if that's the name. But is that the name? Is they Harmish or I don't even know, guys. I I read things. And how is Kadabra at level 13? This is a mystery. Well, there you go. And our speed has gone up. But here comes a Kinesis attack and that right there, our accuracy is going to be going down. So, let's see if this flame charge can work again. But no, we missed! Oh my god. Okay, alrighty. Let's go right ahead and do it one more time. Flame charge, come on. And, oh, come on! Not cool, man. Not cool. Alright, so... Alright, Star Fox. Finish it. And there you go. Alrighty. Okay, so sorry if I'm not speaking very much. The cough is coming, guys. And everybody's growing levels, which is great. And, well, Popink finally grows a level. And Harmish. Harnish! My bad. <laughs> I miss I misread that one. Okay, like always, I'm grabbing myself a cough drop right here. Because uh, I cannot stop coughing. So here we go. And the cough drop is in. Okay, so as you guys can see, there is a rail right here that you can actually uh, go down to and grab this little item right here. And look at that. We found ourselves a super potion. Very useful. And, well, let's go right ahead and see if we can get to the other location right here. As you guys can see, we found another rail. Bam! Found ourselves another super potion. So, that's a big ol'... So, that's a plus for us right there. Alrighty, so let's move on. In this area right here, you can actually find four frows if that's what you guys are looking for. And hopefully I don't run into any of them. Probably, I don't know. I'm probably going to run into something. And look at this. We found a furfrow. Not the most strongest Pokemon in the world, but still, you can stylize it and all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead. Cybeam it away. Is it, a, is it a poodle? It is a poodle. And, well, because of that, this poodle is not that strong so let's go right ahead and give it a luxury ball because well apparently this pokemon is all about the luxury so we're keeping it in there there's one there is two there is three and just like that we capture ourselves a furfrow yeah buddy okay alrighty look at that everybody gets some experience points and we are going into the Pokedex. As you guys can see right here, the Poodle Oodle Pokemon. It is a normal type Pokemon. Historically, in the Kalos region, these Pokemon were desi designated guardians of, of the king. I don't see it. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and move on to the next, the next area right here. That's not what we're supposed to go to. We will eventually. And, well, find more Pokemon right here. So, let's see. Who's next? And oh my god, it is a horde of Gulpin. And here's the messed up part. We don't have an attack that can that can hit everybody. So we're not going to risk it because as you guys already know, Gulpin, poison type Pokemon. You don't want that. You really don't. Okay, so let's go right here and see what else we can actually find. Let's go here and we're going to find another rail. This will lead us straight to a tree right here. And that right there gives us an Oran Berry. And, well, let's see. We're going to go back right here. And, yes, we're going to get attacked by a Pokemon because, well, screw it! And there we go. We're taking on a Bunnelby. And that right there is not going to be a thing. So let's get the heck out of here. Let's move. Okay, alrighty. All right, so let's go right up to right up to the top right here, and what we are gonna find—we've already been right there—are more rollerbladers right here. Remember when rollerblading was a thing? I remember. I remember when I rollerbladed. That was fun. 
it was very, very fun. Have I ever fallen? Yes, I've fallen many times. Okay, so here we go. We are taking on... Well, we're taking on Doduo. And... Let's go straight for a side beam attack right here. And just like that, Doduo has been defeated. Alrighty, okay. And, well, Florin, not happy about this. <laughs> okay, alrighty, who's next? Who is next on this? Oh, wow, she just found us. I'm working on the same Secret Knight's tricks with my Pokemon, but we can't get our timing right. Let me practice against you. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so here we go, taking on a skater, and her name is Winnie. Winnie the Pooh. Bringing out her... Bringing out her uh, her Bunnelby right here. And what we're going to be finding is a good old Psybeam attack. Let's hit it. Psybeam attack. And just like that, Bunnelby has been defeated. Look at you. Okay, and well, Star Fox is getting to level 20, which is good. And Bebe. Well, Bebe is being a Bebe. And we're going to be taking on a Skiddo right here. So let's go right ahead. And... Use a flame charge attack. Let's see what we can do right here. So here we go. Flame charge for the win. And there you go. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. And, well, Winnie has been defeated. So she's not Winnie the Pooh no more. Let's go right ahead and move on to the next thing. And before I do anything, uh, let me come uh, right back. I got a little something coming up right here. Okay, so we're back, guys. Let's go right ahead and get this. And, yes, we finally crossed that bar right there. You need a little bit of space because that little notch right there will actually stop you and, well, throw you into the grass right there. So, look at this. We found ourselves the TM01 Home Claws, and that right there will come in handy a little bit later on. Now, there is a little something, a little somebody, that I want to capture right here. And I had a feeling we can find it right here. And uh, that is not the Pokemon. Yeah, that is not the Pokemon that we wanted. But it, it wouldn't be an issue to try and capture this Pokemon right here. And, well, here comes a Flame Charge for the win. Here we go. We got a Burnt Chicken. Alrighty. And, well, look at this. We Oh, wow. I completely forgot I had Fur Fry on my team. Oh, wow. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue finding some stuff right here. And, look at this. We found ourselves an X Attack. And that right there will come in handy if... Well, if ever needed. Okay, so there is a Pokemon here that I want to capture. That is one of the Pokemon I already captured. And, well, sorry, Panjam. Don't want to take on you. I already, caught, I already caught you. Okay, so let's go ahead. Come on, let's go ahead and find this Pokemon. Where are you? Trust me, guys. I got a little nickname for this Pokemon. I want to use it. And, well, would you look at that? We found it. Now you gotta be a male, and damn it! Eh, who cares? It's a it, who cares? It's it's gonna be a good name right here. Let's see if we can. Uh, well, that's probably gonna make this Pokemon faint. So what's gonna happen is, what if? Hmm. What if that's a net ball right there? What if I just threw a great ball like willy nilly like this? And well, let's see what happens. There's one. Damn it! Okay. So we got to weaken this Pokemon right here. This is Skiddo. And this is a pretty cool looking Pokemon. I actually want to use this Pokemon for... Well, for the first gym. And hopefully we'll actually get something out of it. So let's see. We're going to go with Hurricane and see if we... Uh, see if... Well, Hurricane can actually do something right here. So here we go. Let's get it. Hurricane. And here comes a Growth Attack. And this one right here will increase its special attack. So let's go with a gust attack. Hopefully that won't make this Pokemon faint. And there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and capture this Pokemon right here. And let's go with a gr let's go with uh, this one, a Great Ball. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. Stay in there. There you go. And. Bam. I am throwing out a peace sign right here. So, here you have a new Pokemon. 
on our team right here, guys. And Poping is uh, learning a new move, Karate Chop. This is actually a better move than, uh, you know what, let's go ahead and take away Tackle Attack. It's not really that much of a much of an issue or anything like that. Okay. So let's put Skiddo into our Pokedex. And... Look at this. We got Skiddo, the Mount Pokemon. It is a pure grass-type Pokemon. If it has sunshine and water, it doesn't need, it need to eat because it can generate energy from its leaves on its back. And I got the perfect nickname for this Pokemon, regardless of male or female. Shout out to you, you LeBron fans. This, is, this Pokemon is going to be named after the true goat. Ladies and gentlemen... Say hello to Jordan, because Michael Jordan is the real goat. <laughs> this actually... I was waiting for this. I cannot wait to get this Pokemon into my team. Oh, yeah! Anywho, Jordan's the real goat. <laughs> Deal with it. So, we're going to be battling this person right here. And... Well... Let's see what happens right now. Taking on a Rising Star Tyson, and they're going to be coming with a Bidoof. And, well, Star Fox is going to do its trick. Let's get it. Let's go with a, a Psychic Attack right here. And... Look at that. A Psychic Attack does the trick. Yes, I've been thinking about getting a, a Skiddo for a long time. And, and like I was saying before, guys... A lot of these Pokemon won't be on my team, mainly because, you know, I'm going to be switching out from Kyle's Pokemon, just so I can make this team a little bit more diverse. Now, the hard part is that this, yeah, <laughs> the hard part is there's only so many uh, Kalos Pokemon to choose from. It's not like our very first, it's not like the uh, first generation where it's 150 Pokemon. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little difficult right there, and <coughs> try not to cough. I got a cough drop in me, come on. Here we go. Gust attack. And... Well... There we go. Alrighty, everybody is defeated, and Tyson has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. Alright. Okay, so let's see. We're going to be moving out right here, and... Well, we got a few more Pokemon trainers to go. Let's see... Who needs a little bit of the training? You know what? We're going to go with Poping. We need Poping to learn just a little bit more moves. Bring it on. You look like a seasoned traveler. I bet you're good at battling, too. Probably. Just a little bit. Okay. Alrighty. Let's do it. Bring it on. Here we go. We are taking on... What was the Pokemon we're taking on? Oh, look at this! Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's get it. Let's go straight for a Karate Chop. And bam. That is how you do it. Centret defeated. Alrighty. Okay. And <laughs> well, we have defeated our, our opponent. Yes, he's not so happy right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. We're going to skip these uh, ledges right here and take on this kid. Blocking our way. Hi! Want to know why I always wear shorts? When I walk through the tall grass? No, not really. I don't really want to know. Okay. Bring it on. We are taking on Kita. And she is going to be coming out with a Pants Age. So this Pokemon right here is going to be something. Let's go. And let's get it with... Uh, you know what? We can go with a Workup. Power it up just a little bit. And that will decrease our defense, but guess what? K.O. Ken, ready to go. And, well, let's see. Now that our physical attack has been up, let's go straight for a Karate Chop. Alrighty. Yeah, well, our defense has gone down, but guess what? Karate Chop is a little bit stronger. Let's try it again. And, well, I don't know why you're lowering my defense that much. But here comes another Karate Chop. And just like that, another victory for us. And, well, look at this. Furfro is getting some points without doing anything. So, ah, yes, we are victorious yet again. Man, the good news never stops coming. This is awesome. 
Okay, so let's go right here. Try not to get attacked by anybody. And look at this, guys. We are in Campfire Town. Now we're getting a holo clip. Uh, and, well, who's calling us? And he's like, thank you using the holocaster. The Sunder Labs developed the holocaster to make the lives of the Pokemon trainers richer, fuller, and more convenient. We hope you'll continue to enjoy the fine services the device provides. Hmm. Okay. Alrighty. So, anywho, guys, we're going to stop right here. In the next episode, we are going to be taking care of everything in this place. And I would like to say going into the little issue that comes at hand. So, thank you guys again for staying patient, for being patient and all that. Thank you guys for supporting. I'll see you guys next time.